guys. Happy Thursday. I just got a late start. I mean, I got dressed and ready for the day a couple hours ago. Now it's three o'clock and I've just been in a slump, you know, you know how I get. So I, I did scrub toilets and I dust busted the kitchen floor a little bit and took out some garbage, but I didn't vlog all that just because it gets hard to put the cell phone and in a tripod and then take it everywhere you go and set it up and make sure it's just right and then do your thing and then, you know, it's it gets kind of tedious and I just wasn't, I didn't have the patience to do all that today when I was cleaning. And I didn't really do anything vlog worthy. You know, you wouldn't, you didn't need to see all that. So anyway, I cook, I cleaned my rice cooker. I took out the bowl and I washed it and I took out the spatula and the steamer thing and, and washed all that and I wiped this whole thing down. So tonight we're gonna have green bean chicken. I'm gonna try to make green bean chicken. I've never made it before, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. It's just something I thought about inspired by Panda. So um, I'm gonna make brown rice in it. And I have some fresh green beans, the air cover, the baby green beans. So I'm, I've got some of those to stir fry up. And um, I need to take out my chicken breast to let it thaw, but I have this teriyaki glaze, based in glaze. So I'm gonna use that, because you know at Panda, if you've ever had the green bean chicken, it's kind of sweet. Like they've, they've stir fried it in like a teriyaki sauce or something, so. I had this in my cupboard and I, for the life of me, cannot find uh, an expiration date, so. I'm just gonna use it and hopefully we don't get trichinosis or anything and die. So anyway, I think I remember buying it a couple years ago. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe I should just open it now and, and see if it's bad or good. I'm sure it's fine. Sauces like this are fine. It smells fine. Yep, tastes fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. So this will be really good with green beans and chicken. And so I'm just going to chop up some onions, chop up my green beans, and chop up my chicken and then just stir fry it all. I thought about steaming my beans first and then stir frying them, steaming it in here. But I don't know how to steam with the rice and I didn't understand the directions because that's how I am. I can't understand directions. That's why I have trouble in life because I can't understand directions. So I'm just gonna boil my beans my stepdad's turning over in his grave right now. He used to be a produce manager and he grew, he had a huge garden and he grew his own beans and he always steamed them. And he always made sure, he always made me promise that I would steam my beans when he gave them, when he gave me some from the garden, that I wouldn't boil them. And so I had to go out and get a steamer. <laughs> I could steam my beans and I had to steam my baby potatoes. He was really particular like that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I can steam them with a separate steamer and while my rice is cooking there. I just don't want to mess around with that. So I'm just going to boil my beans and then stir fry them. Okay. Okay. Let me get my chicken out of the freezer so I don't forget. I want to find 
find a big one. This one's not that big. Sometimes I get huge ones. Don't I have a huge one in here somewhere? Guess not. But I'm still just gonna cook one. Because that will be plenty. All right. This one's a big breast. There were a couple pieces of chicken, a couple of these left in the freezer when I bought a new pack, and so I want to use that up first, I guess. All right. So I'll let that de de thaw. I'll let that thaw. And we'll continue on. Oh, outfit of the day today. I have my new shirt from Walmart on. I bought this before Christmas and then I just saved it for a Christmas present. And I, of course, I just have it on with my leggings. And then I put my black lacy tank top from Maurice's underneath. Waka waka! So, yeah, that's what I have on today. And I was just gonna grab me some of my freeze-dried Skittles. I think I told you, but somebody said they couldn't get these shipped out of state. I guess they're just a Utah thing. So she ordered some on Amazon for a better deal. So if you want freeze dried candy, go to Amazon. These are so good. It's like once you pop, you can't stop. Because it's like you're not eating candy, you're eating a snack. Because they're so crunchy and puffy. And light. Mm. Okay. That has to be it for the day. I think I already ate 10 earlier so gotta pull up my pants <laughs> I'm kind of sliding down from all the housework guess I'll put this in the fridge since I opened it and I'm just taking a swig of root beer because I didn't get enough sugar right there pretty good cooking usually it's like I cook once a week but I've been doing pretty good okay let's see what we should do now oh yeah this is what I need to do I need to clean out this cupboard because I need to have room for my new rice cooker my old one is right it's right there and you know, this must have been a, I just fell. <laughs> this must have been a steamer one as well because it came with this. And so I'm guessing it was a steamer and I didn't know that. I'm like, what's this? So it's just been in the corner in my cupboard for all these years, but I'm gonna take this out. And it, it was a great rice cooker, but I just think it's past its prime. It just stopped cooking my rice. Wow. I need to get in here, man. It's not 
too bad. There's mostly big things in here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see everything I'm doing, because we're in a little space here, but these stupid things, I think I got them for a wedding gift, and they're so huge, and I just always left them in this jar, and there was nowhere to put the jar. This is my little wiener crock pot. My hand mixer. I can't remember, did I get these at Dollar Tree? I don't remember. They're for my smoothies. And this is my hospital mug. This was my stepdad's hospital mug. And it's a good smoothie holder. I got these things at the Dollar Tree and do you think I use them? No. I just got them because they were so cute and small. Okay, this is my Pampered Chef chopper. I really like it, um, but I just haven't used it. I haven't seen it, it's been in the back. Some mixing bowls. And I have been looking for this <laughs> forever. I didn't realize it was in here. <laughs> There's my crock pot, that's just gonna stay there. This is my electric knife. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> here's, here's like a 30 pound mug. It's got Daryl's name etched in. One of his friends gave him this for Christmas, for a Christmas present. And it's, I swear it's like four pounds. And there's nowhere to keep it. So I just stuck it in the back there. <laughs> He doesn't, we don't use stuff like this. I mean, this thing is like a pitcher. Oh. Whew. But it was a nice gift, so we're keeping it. What's this? This goes on my Ninja blender. Where is my blender? It must be in the dishwasher. All right, and this is my Foreman grill. I'm just gonna leave that there. This is the towel I use. Um. I don't know if you can see that. Here are the plates that go on it, and then I use this towel to set under the whole thing. So, I'll just leave that there. It's not dirty in here, I don't need to wipe it out. <laughs> so there. All right, I'm gonna move this up here because it's smaller, and I don't use this as much. So I'll just leave it like right here front. I only use my knife like at Thanksgiving or Christmas or when I have a roast, which is never. So that can just stay back there. That I'm putting this away. So that will go there. Actually, this will go here because my ninja blender always goes up here. So that's the motor. Hope you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> We're gonna put this back in the corner. <laughs> uh, it looks nice there in the corner. Chopper. I don't want to make things too difficult. Mixer. I can't, for the life of me, this, oh, it, there it goes. I could never get it to sit in there. Oh, that's what it was. Now I can't get it out. I never put this in because I could never get it out. And now I can't get it out. I'll just have to get this out another time. If I can't get it out, I have to buy a whole new one. Anywhere else to put it, right in the middle. Okay. It's lame. 
but I don't care. My knees hurt. Okay, I want you to know I figured out how to get this flipping thing out. You've got this hole here and you stick your fingers in it and then you pull away. <laughs> you pull away. I just, there, I just did it. Because it snaps right in and then you you pull this and then it comes out. So you pull it right here. <laughs> Why? Okay, so yeah. So that's great. Now it's convenient and I can stick it in here somewhere convenient. Just thought I'd let you know. All right, here's the final product. Crock pot. I've got my mixer back there. My rice maker. I just put my mixing bowls back right in the middle. I don't use those too much anyway. And then my foreman grill. I put my weenie pot right there and then um, my Ninja will just go in the middle. It's super light. It's just a little mixer blender looking thing. And so, yeah, I'll just stick that right there. So there you go. It is what it is. That was only 20. I wanted to do 30 today. And I will, I'll get there. I just had to take a break. It looks so easy when I'm running up and down on time lapse camera. But I was huffing and puffing. Woo! I need to do 10 more. I want to do 10 more each day. Well, not every day, but like, I'm going to try. <laughs> wow. Last night I was able to do it easier. I wonder if it's because I didn't have my shoes on. But today I have my tennis shoes on and maybe it, they're kind of weighting me down. I don't know. Oh my heck, it's 20 to 5. I, this is so full. I'm going to have Daryl empty it because I, I dust busted a spider last week. It was like a big black jumping spider. It was over by the cat food dish and I didn't dare to squash it because I'm scared of spiders so bad. And so I sucked it up. So it's in there somewhere. I'm sure it's dead, but even though it's dead, I don't want to see it. I don't want to be near it. It'll scare the crap out of me. So I'm going to have Daryl empty this <laughs> because I, that's why I haven't put it away because I'm just too dang scared. <laughs> so I'm laying here and I'm thinking, well, it's almost six o'clock. Daryl's not home yet. Maybe I'll just bread that chicken breast, even though there's only one but just bread it in my Ritz cracker crumbs. Put it in the air fryer. I've got those mashed potatoes that are pre-made. And then cook some green beans. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. 
so here's the coating mix. This stuff is so good and it's really cheap too. Um, so I'm just going to season my chicken and well, I'll put um, coating or seasoning in the coating and then I'll bread both sides of it and put it in my air fryer. So that's easy. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some of this on the plate and I'm going to add some onion powder and this Morton's Nature Seasoning to it. And I've got green beans boiling on the table, thank you, or on the stove, thank you very much. This Ritz is so good. Here's the onion powder, and then here's the seasoning salt. Maybe some pepper. This is big enough that we can just cut it in half. should have just done it like a shake and bake and stuck it in a bag. Oh well. Going in the air fryer. Okay, we're also going to have the white country gravy that comes with the fast fixins chicken. So you just add water. So you whisk together this and a half cup of cool tap water and then you add, so you mix it together and then you add another one and a half cups of water to it and then whisk it until it's done.
got the green beans here, and then I'm going to cook the gravy here. and thick and bubbly and our chicken will be done in a few minutes green beans so I did pretty good for not wanting to cook dinner tonight and I'm making these Bob Evans potatoes they're in the microwave right now and I tasted them and they are incredible you'd never know that they were these they are so good you guys homemade all the way okay we've got our chicken we've got our gravy our potatoes and our buttered beans there it is everybody it looks scrumdilyumptious for shizzle okay do you like it yeah. we're gonna give it a taste That is so good. Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. That Ritz crust and that white gravy, that's from the Fast Fixins chicken. But instead of using the Fast Fixins chicken, I used regular. Mmm. Beans are good. Um, they need some salt. Okay. The gravy's nice and thick. It has a good taste. It's not powdery or gritty or anything. Mm. And these potatoes, you'd never know I didn't make them. They are homemade. Mm. So good. Oh, it's cold down here tonight. It's only going to be nine degrees tonight, you guys. Nine. I'm only going to walk for maybe a mile. gonna ride my horse for just a little bit it's just a recumbent bike type thing there are no batteries in my Pro form, so I don't have any inclining pressure, but this is hard enough. <laughs> it feels good though. <laughs> 